Hi, this is problem 15 from the 2021 AMC 12B. Three identical square sheets of paper, each with side length 6, are stacked on top of each other. The middle sheet is rotated 30 degrees, the top sheet is rotated 60 degrees, resulting in the 24-sided figure shown. The area of this polygon can be expressed in this form, with A, B, and C are positive integers. What is the sum A through C? All right, so looking at this figure, it's tempting to add the area of the square to the area of these four triangles to the area of these four quadrilaterals. But uh, those four quadrilaterals look pretty difficult to calculate. So instead, why don't I try to use the symmetry of this figure and uh, examine a 30 degree sector of this figure and try to calculate the area of that sector as the difference between the area of this blue triangle, which I'll call big A, and subtract the area of this small triangle that I'll call small a. So let me try that approach. So for big A, the side lengths are 3 root 2, 3 root 2. This is a 30 degree sector. We can calculate the area using the area law of sines. 1 half this side times this side times the sine of 30. Sine of 30 is 1 half. All right, that came out pretty well. Now, to calculate the area of small a, it seems as though we'll need to know this side length c. So let's use the law of cosines. c squared is equal to this squared plus this squared minus 2 times this times this times the cosine of 30. Cosine 30 is root 3 over 2. So this works out to c squared 36, 1 minus root 3 over 2. And the area is 1 half c times this height which, uh, using this as a 30-60 right triangle, is c over 2 root 3. So that's uh, c squared, 4 root 3. Let's substitute c squared to give us 9, 1 over root 3, minus a half. Now let's uh, subtract big A minus small a. So 9 halves minus a minus 9 halves, that gives us 9, minus 9 over root 3, 9 minus 3 root 3, let's uh, multiply by 12 to get the area of the whole figure. So 12 times 9, 108, minus 36 root 3. These are the three numbers, A, B, and C. Add them up. 147 for choice E.